The audience, okay, so in Madison, even though we call it diverse, it's still like a lot of African-American girls feel really like self-conscious about their skin and like their hair and they're like afraid to show their blackness because they think it's not pretty. So my, the main audience would probably be for them to show them that like it's okay to like love who you are and love what you look like. Like you're safe in my presence to embrace who you are. But it's also to be like everyone else should also recognize their beauty. Like no matter what color you are, like recognize me as a strong figure. And it's also to males who like just feel like they are like superior because all the time like we worship a deity that's not even female. So I was like, I'm gonna be that figure for you to like inspire you that you can be great. So usually I make my audience more than like just one so it can reach out to as many people as possible. I was using Google Docs and okay, a lot of people be like, you shouldn't write on your phone because blah, blah, blah. okay, but I don't really care because like when I'm thinking things, they come out like fast or whatever. So like it's easier if I can type because if I'm writing, like it's gonna take longer for the thoughts to process or whatever, but I type like almost just as fast as I can like say something. So I feel like then I don't lose anything. And like with Google Docs, you can take it anywhere. Like it can't get like wet and ruined. I don't have to rummage through piles. So I feel like it's easy to type on my phone. But if I really like a piece and I think it's pretty, I'll probably like write it down and then like put it in like a special notebook or something like that. But like everything I write down quickly is like, is on my phone. So I feel like it's easier and more effective. Well, usually like if I write something, like to make sure that it's, it's like good. I usually like send it to like um, like a friend or like a group of people that I know. And like sometimes I don't even like tell them what it is that I'm sending them. I just send it to them and like I wait for feedback on it. And then it's like, oh, that was great. Like who wrote this? Woo. And I was like, okay, that was me. All right, this is a good one. And then so, but if they're like, um, eh, I'm not really, I'm feeling that. Okay, I have to like take it and like tweak it to like I'm like, okay, what do you think I should do? Like how do you think I should approach this? And then like. With this piece, before I came here, I sent it to one of my friends, like we had a group chat or whatever. And then, so I asked them, like, I need feedback and critiques on this. And they basically told me that, like, they liked it, but I needed to use more alliteration, because that's usually what I'm known for in my poems. So I was like, add alliteration, make it a little bit longer, because, like, I like it so far, but it's missing something. So when I get critiques and feedback, I use that, because I feel like they're just trying to make me better. But I only use it if I, like, I feel like I know where they're coming from. The hardest thing, about, I think that starting is the hardest part because you have all these ideas like flowing through your head and like you have to figure out the right way to word it. And once you find that right way to word it that you want to approach it, then it's easier. But like starting off, like what, how do I want to say this? Like who do I want to say it to? That's always the hardest part for me. The best thing about writing is that I can like I can really express myself in a way that like people appreciate and they like listening to my story. And a lot of times I'm. I feel like I'm writing for people that have no voice because a lot of them are like based off stories and experiences that like other people can relate to. So like I feel like that's a beautiful thing when I can like help people, I can inspire them, I can express myself and they, they can they know that they're not alone in something that they are feeling or going through and that I feel like that is just the most amazing thing about writing. Like you can make words come alive to an audience or like you can make somebody feel how you feel just by a few words and like your tone and everything. Um, a lot of people stop writing, and I like my first like free piece of advice is like don't stop. Like you started for a reason because you you obviously had something like passion burning inside you. So like don't stop, even if you think it's garbage, even if it might be garbage. Like we can always go back and like tweak it and make it stronger, make it better because everyone has a story and you need to share that story. And so like the more you work at it and the more like you try at it, it's gonna get better. I was, I never started as a really strong writer, but I got there with like practice. And like, if you having trouble writing, like write when you feeling some type of strong emotion. Like if you're really happy, if you're really angry, cause those are my best pieces when I was really feeling something. So like it'd be like easier for words to just jot on the page. Don't focus on the structure of it, just focus on that like you're getting your words down. So you have like, someone to hear you even if you're not speaking it out loud like your page your pen your notepad whatever that could be your best friend and don't filter yourself if you feel something like write down like what you feel how you feel don't worry about like grammar and things like that like stay true to you while you're writing because that's your story my slam team in chicago like that's how i like really started writing and got a passion for it uh, we the linguistic legends. Like I remember when we first made the name and everything. Like it just really showed me like 
how strong words can bring people together because we had basically nothing in common. Like we didn't, most of us didn't even start as poets, but once we came together and we started writing with each other, we had like all these different experiences and moments together and made us so strong. And like, just by looking at some of the people, you, you wouldn't think that a lot of people have the talents that they have. And it really made me appreciate things and look at stuff differently because like, they are such amazing poets. They're like, literally like wordsmiths and it just comes so easy because it's just like so pure and so free and like with them being on my slam team it helped me grow as a writer a performer and like it de helped develop an art and I think that like as a slam team it was like a family and I wouldn't have wouldn't have any any different and it made me really appreciate the art of writing and like the art of spoken word and poetry